The Ground Systems Research Center of the Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics Agency of the Ministry of Defense in Sagamihara City of Kanagawa Prefecture is in charge of the technical research and development of firearms, ammunition, ballistic and blast resistant structures, vehicles, vehicular equipment, engineering equipment, physics and chemistry equipment, sanitary materials, personal equipment, sea burn defense, and human engineering. Its mission is to develop reliable defense equipment for the self-defense forces, including the ground self-defense force, for the defense and security of our country. In order to accomplish its mission, it plans and executes necessary technical research on technologies with the aim of applying them to future equipment. Moreover, it is in charge of conducting technical tests to examine the performance of equipment prototypes and technical development projects based on requests from the self-defense forces, including the ground self-defense force. The director of the Ground Systems Research Center, or GSRC, oversees approximately 110 personnel working for the deputy director, the general affairs section, the systems division, the ballistics research division, and the mobility research division. Now, let's take a look at the research activities the GSRC engages in. Research Activities The GSRC conducts research that will lead to the development of next generation equipment. Research on environment recognition of the remote controlled engineering vehicle system for seaburn threats. The remote controlled engineering vehicle system for seaburn threats have capabilities of initial responses, such as gathering of information and completion of various tasks by itself in areas with chemical, biological, radiological or nuclear contamination. GSRC has been conducting research on improving environment recognition technology that develops bird's eye views of the area surrounding the vehicle constructs 3D maps, and integrates information from several unmanned vehicles. That kind of technology lets the remote operator easily understand the environment around the vehicle, which enables safer and more efficient operation by multiple unmanned vehicles, even in outdoor environments with variable weather and terrain. Research on Ground and Amphibious Vehicle Simulator With recent changes in the security environment, it is predicted that landing operations to recapture islands will be required in response to attacks on remote islands. The area of operations of combat vehicles will be expanded to the shore and water, in addition to the land assumed so far. Therefore, the research on ground and amphibious vehicle simulator has been undertaken to conduct fine simulation evaluation of the mobility, including maneuverability and safety of vehicles. GSRC has constructed vehicle models flexibly applicable to various vehicles, responding to requests of developing new combat vehicles or upgrading and improving existing ones operated under numerous environments including water, shore, and land. Research on Electromagnetic Railgun A railgun is an advanced gun system which uses electrical energy to launch projectiles. The velocity of the projectile can be variable by controlling the amount of electrical energy. It can launch the projectile in high muzzle velocity 
using a great amount of electrical energy with large current. But it has caused serious erosion on rails and shortens the bore life. Our 40 millimeter caliber prototyping demonstrator was developed in 2020. It recorded high muzzle velocity over 2,000 meters per second without serious erosion. A rail gun is expected to provide higher firepower and longer range than an ordinary gun system by launching the projectile in high muzzle velocity. Hereafter, we are planning to research rapid firing, exterior, and terminal ballistics through numerical simulations and prototype demonstration, aiming for early deployment. Research on advanced anti-surface warhead technology. GSRC is conducting research on a tandem type of anti-surface ship warhead and a high-density EFP, or explosively formed projectile type of anti-ground vehicle warhead. The objective of this advanced anti-surface warhead technology is to develop warheads for guided missiles to effectively attack warships and military vehicles deployed around the small islands and their surrounding sea areas of Japan. If we could possess guided missiles able to engage large vessels from the air and advanced guided missiles to engage landing crafts and light armoured vehicles, we should be able to secure superiority in defending offshore islands. Engineering tests. Engineering tests are the main part of equipment development that carries out various tests to see if prototypes meet the performance requirements. Type 16 Mobile Combat Vehicle. The Type 16 Mobile Combat Vehicle, or MCV, has been developed in order to leverage its superior mobility and air transportability, while its large caliber gun is able to defeat armored fighting vehicles as well as personnel. GSRC has carried out technological tests to confirm this vehicle's stability and fire control. Through these tests, the Type 16 mobile combat vehicle developed in 2016 achieved high mobility to run on highways, transportability to be loaded on cargo planes and is a combat vehicle equipped with a powerful gun. Their continual deployment in the ground self-defense force units will secure the safety of Japan. Type 19 155mm self-propelled howitzer wield. This howitzer has been developed in order to quickly move over a wide area in a variety of circumstances, while also engaging enemy troops by wielding firepower from a long distance. The engineering tests included firing tests in Japan and in the US, on and off road mobility tests, and transportability tests using ships and aircraft. Through these tests, Type 19 155mm self-propelled howitzers wield, developed in 2019, are scheduled for continual deployment in ground self-defense force units in order to boost firepower for field artillery units. This will be achieved through the howitzers' improved firepower operating capability to strategically maneuver at high speed and swiftly fire in diverse situations, including offshore islands defense. Technology Cooperation Rapid progress is being made in a variety of technologies. 
in conducting technological research, the GSRC engages in active technology cooperation, such as through cooperative research, exchange of technical information and personnel exchanges with domestic national research and development agencies, universities and various overseas research institutes, such as those in the US, to ensure the efficient use of limited time, budgets and human resources. In this project, the vehicles moving on the shore and water have been researched with National Maritime Research Institute and Port and Airport Research Institute, National Institute of Maritime, Port and Aviation Technology. This joint research combined each advantage of Japan's technologies and Australia's ones which simulate the autonomous behaviors of multiple unmanned vehicles without any GPS signals and map information under the various geometrical conditions or conditions of obstacles and threats. It aims to establish autonomous technologies to look ahead to the future equipment. It is expected that these joint research findings lead to unmanned operation and the manpower saving of Japan's self-defense forces vehicles in the future. The Engineers and Scientists Exchange Program, or ESEP. This program aims to promote mutual understanding and cooperation between Japan and the U.S. through exchanges of engineers and scientists to experience the work of their mutual counterparts over a set period of time. In this way, Technology cooperation initiatives are being implemented with a variety of institutions. Test facilities. Test facilities are indispensable in carrying out such research and development. The GSRC has advanced test facilities to carry out research and development on reliable and superior equipment and to test their performance. Power Simulator for Vehicle Powertrains. This facility is used to evaluate powertrains of ground vehicles by applying resistance to the powertrains, including the engine, corresponding to the ground surface profile and the vehicle traveling states. powder gun and two-stage light gas gun. These guns simulate firing of ultra-high-speed projectiles and the guns are used to test ballistic properties of various materials under high strain rates and pressures. Fuse Impact Simulator by using high pressure gas to fire a projectile or similar object, this device simulates various extreme impact environments experienced by projectiles. Vehicle Static Characteristic Test Bench The test bench is used to measure vehicle static characteristics such as weight, center of gravity and maximum safe incline angle. Off-road simulator for tracked and wheeled vehicles. The off-road simulator for tracked and wheeled vehicles evaluates dynamic responses of chassis and turrets by vibrating vehicles actively. Environmental testing chamber. This facility is a chamber to evaluate ground vehicles and other equipment under a high or low temperature environment and a humidity environment. Mine Detection Test Facility. This facility evaluates mine detection systems tested under constant soil conditions. Supersonic Wind Tunnel. Continuous operation wind tunnel testing measures the aerodynamic forces acting on flying projectiles in the early stages of designing artillery shells. 
GSRC has numerous facilities that are only found here in Japan, and they have become indispensable to the research and development of defense equipment. Historic Sites The land where the GSRC currently stands was formerly the site of the Weapons Academy of the former Imperial Japanese Army, as well as the Sagami Army Arsenal. Tank Road This is On Air Green Road, formerly known as the Tank Road. Nowadays, this road is a renowned cherry blossom viewing spot. Although before World War II, it was designed as a tank road. Then after the war, it was used for test driving armoured vehicles until around 1965, under the management of the former Defence Agency. Monument to the Imperial Japanese Army Weapons Academy. The school was established in 1939 within the extensive grounds that include the current GSRC with the aim of fostering experts in weapons technology and promoting the mechanization of military equipment. It was attended by over 7,000 people, including students and instructors. Today, the spot is marked by this monument. Monument marking former site of Sagami Army Arsenal. The Sagami Army Arsenal was established within the grounds stretching to the west of the Imperial Japanese Army Weapon Academy. Mainly weapons, such as tanks and artillery shells, were manufactured here. During its time, some 13,000 individuals, including soldiers, worked there. The history of GSRC began in 1952 as the Technical Research and Development Centre of the National Safety Agency and then became part of ATLA in 2015. Today, the GSRC plays an ever-expanding role. To fulfil its duty of researching and developing technologies for reliable defence equipment, the GSRC ensures full appreciation of the need for equipment by the self-defence forces. That enables us to proactively offer proposals based on the technological knowledge and trends at the research centre while working in close cooperation with not only organisations associated with the Ministry of Defence, but also domestic and international research institutes. The Research Centre performs daily activities to enhance technological capabilities, leading to advanced defence equipment. While fulfilling its duty, the GSRC will continue to play its part in the defence and security of Japan in the future.